my name is Juliet Ambadi and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be taking you on a very interesting journey that I'm sure will be very helpful to you or someone that you know. So if you're watching this video, keep on watching because you will learn and enjoy some of the things that I'll be sharing with you today. And it's about how to teach a little child to read or the steps that you can take in helping a little child to read, to learn how to enjoy reading and to make reading a habit that it becomes a norm for them. Do you understand? To not see reading as something that is laborious or something that is uninteresting. So I'm sure that you will enjoy watching this video. So keep on watching. Thank you. So the first thing when it comes to teaching a child to read is that you should be interested in reading yourself. You cannot imagine that at some point they'll figure out how to read or leave it to their teacher to handle alone. So to give your child that platform whereby they are encouraged to read, reading has to be something you personally love to do, as you cannot sometimes give what you do not have. The second point is that you need to get age-appropriate materials that will aid their reading. Right from when they are still babies, get them picture books and letters and start reading to them as soon as they are born. I promise you, you're not doing too much. You'll be glad and you'll be better off for it with each passing moment. Step by step, you'll need to create time out, which means that this, just like other areas of parenting, will require you to be intentional. The third point is that you'll need to be patient with them. No one is born able to read or communicate in any human language. Therefore, you need to patiently guide them to enjoy reading as this is one of the easiest ways to get them to enjoy doing this. They need to see that it is interesting to read. The fourth point is that you should make it a habit to keep on reading to them. They will look forward to it and you will see that on their own, they will pick their books themselves to want to read. They have the desire in them to want to be able to decode information through text, so reading to them will help them be better at reading themselves too. The fifth point, encourage them to attempt combining letters to words and to read out loud too. Sometimes you'll find them asking you to help pronounce words they see on household objects. Encourage them to spell and pronounce them. This way you'll be building their lexicon and this will help them retain a number of words that they get to recognize from time to time. Okay. Alright, so Tishi, I'm going to try. for me by yourself now so let's see what's the first word and okay continue thread. and there and there mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. try it i'm sure you can try it. stable stable mm -hmm. amongst amongst, mm -hmm. the, amongst what amongst the, the like Try and pronounce it. You, I'm sure you can. It starts from ch ch ch. C. Uh -huh. So it's chickens. Mm -hmm. Why is Dick chicken? The chickens are there in the manger. They are there with him, but I don't think they are inside the picture. But hopefully Say they are rats. there. <gasps> Even a rat was there. I can imagine. Okay, so the chickens. Uh -huh. Continue reading, my love. Chickens and the. Fox. Donkeys. Donkeys and the cows in the quarrel. Quiet. Quiet. Off the land. Try. Then night. night. In the Light of the moon, a little egg lay on a Sunday mor morning. Mm -hmm. The warm mm -hmm. sun come mm -hmm. came mm -hmm. up and popped mm -hmm. out of the egg. Came a tiny mm -hmm. and very hungry caterpillar. caterpillar. Yeah, he started 
to look for food. For what? For what? What's for mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. food. Good. He, he ate through one apple, mm. but he was still hungry. Mm. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Mm. Next day, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Wow. <laughs> On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. hungry. On Saturday, he ate through s- s- You didn't say this one. He ate through what? One. Mm-hmm. You know, piece mm-hmm. of ch- chocolate mm-hmm. cake. One corn. One, ice. One ice cream. I one ice cream. One, one ice cream. What? One ice cream cone. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Swiss. Swiss of. of oh, okay. Well, sorry. One slice, my sorry. One slice of mm-hmm. sal. Or Swiss. Or Swiss cheese. But one. That night he had a stomachache. Wow. That. The next now. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice. He felt much better was one he wasn't he wasn't hungry <laughs> was he wasn't he wasn't a little caterpillar Any. Any more. He was a big fat caterpillar. He a small house called a cocoon. Around around he, him himself. Inside, Inside for more than two weeks. Mm-hmm. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you found it insightful. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye.